Hello! This time we look into the masking features of Infinity UI based on these three examples basic rectangle mask, rounded corners mask, and fade in mask. Let's go! So, masking features may be useful for many things like scrolling area, inventory screen, or even some gameplay. Let's start with the simple rectangle mask example. Think of this as some kind of character selection screen maybe, but we'd like to have the legs of both characters no longer visible outside of the box. First, we need to tell Unity which element is the mask. In our case, it will be our box. So click on it and add a new component called Rectangle Mask 2D. So now, to apply the mask, we need to set our characters as a children of the box. As you can see, that immediately applies the mask and it's live, so you can even move objects inside of it. Next, soft mask. So I have this very simple object with nice rounded corners and I'd like to apply some kind of texture inside of it. So first, I'll create an image. Right click on this rounded rectangle in hierarchy, UI, and select image. Now, I'll apply the sprite with stripes and I'll resize it to fill the entire rounded box. Time for the mask. Of course, we can't apply this rectangle mask to the this time, because that would mask only the bounds of our shape and that would completely ignore rounded corners. So this time, we'll be using a mask component. Add it to our rounded rectangle object and here we have it. Visible rounded corners. But, as you can already see, something is wrong here. So, the built-in Unity mask can't handle the alpha channel. So, instead of smooth masking out, each pixel is either masked or not. To make it much more pleasant to look at, we'll use an external asset created by Mobs Sakai called Soft Mask for Unity GUI. To import it into our Unity project, go to the window option at the very top and select Package Manager. Then, after it loads up, click this little plus icon at the very top, select Add Package from Git URL and paste in URL from the video description. Finally, click Add. It will start a downloading and importing process. It should take a few seconds. Then, close this window Go back to our rounded rectangle and notice that if we click on this very small option with three dots next to the mask component, we have a new option called Convert to Soft Mask. Click on it. To make our new soft mask visible, you'll need to click on that Fix button and after that, our soft mask is immediately applied. If you see those small white pixels around the corners, that's because our rounded corner image is still visible and we can simply hide it by clicking this Show Mask Graphics option. Great! The last thing I'd like to show you is how we can use our newly installed soft mask asset and create a nice fade out mask. So, I have a simple scroll view with some items. As you can see, I've already applied a simple rectangle mask, but I love my items to slowly disappear on the edges. To make that possible, I've prepared a simple image that has a solid middle and is completely transparent on the edges. I'll now make our scroll view a child of this image by simply dragging it in in hierarchy. Then, to our image, I'll add a soft mask component and as before, I'll click Fix and uncheck Show Mask Graphics. Now, when I play the game, you can see how the elements are smoothly scrolling and disappearing. And that's it! Be sure to check out my other Unity UI tutorials and subscribe to my channel if you like to see more tutorials like this. See you in the next video!